Here it comes. Here it comes. This is the bi monthlies from the 15th of September until the 12th of October. I want to say thank you to be um, returning. And the Capricorns um, extended. Um, if you guys want to extend it, you can pick it up on the channel, YouTube channel, or on my ch on on my personal channel. Okay, just use um, uh, uh, Square to get there. You can use your Cash App also. It's just um, Cash App Capricorn ENC Cash App Capricorn. Okay. All right. Both Cash App um, Cash App Capricorn is uh, for both the business and the personal website. All right, um, Capricorns, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I would advise a lot of you, if you want to know what is coming up for work and career for you next year, order a, a, a 2020 reading. Um, you can start order them from now. They're going to be um, $85, okay? You can buy a um, digital business card. Um, they're $85, so... Um, that is going to be rolled out coming up. All right. Oh, right, so um, let's see what you're doing. You're dealing with some people. You're dealing with a Leo, a Libran, Scorpions, and a Gemini. Okay. And I see that a Gemini have to return uh, something to you guys. Whatever is happening in this uh, timeline, especially in the month of October, they're going to be uh, holding on in a Gemini to return something to you. Uncertainties here for a Gemini. Um, whoever that was dealing, a whole lot of uncertainty, the energy of the cloud, as you move from the end of September into October, but it has to do with a Gemini. Um, and this is a Gemini woman. So a lot of uncertainty for a Gemini woman. They are now recognizing something um, about a Gemini woman. I see this woman, and they're now recognizing how really devastated this Gemini woman is. I see they're going to be blocking money um, that a Gemini woman has took. Um, there is a whole lot of stuff that is going on, Capricorn. And I see uncertainties for this Gemini woman, uncertainties um, for a Pisces. Um, they are going to be uh, bringing back peace back to a situation. Now, um, conflicts, conflicts, a Libran and a Leo is having huge, huge conflicts. And, you know, um, keep out of this conflicts, um, whether they're co-workers or they're an external bureau or external company, there is conflicts. And whatever this conflicts is all about, I would say to you, Pisces, keep out, keep out of this conflicts. Um, you are going to be successfully overcoming a really disturbed Pisces Cancer a Scorpion man. This man was a criminal. Um, it is coming up as a Scorpion man. Um, you are now um, going to be, there's uncertainty for the Scorpion man um, um, company because they recognize what the Scorpion man has done. So if you notice, um, you're coming out of this period um, it's a very positive thing when the moon and the lily comes up because it's about peace. Okay, the energy of the moon and the lily is about peace. So you're coming out of uh, this uh, um, period with uh, some sort of a peaceful, um, you know, letting go of uh, um, a really devastated situation that was transpiring. It's as if you're taking back your powers, okay? So the moon and the lily is about you, um, whatever creative business jobs or whatever position you have, um, you're going to be very successful, okay? Very, very successful because it's as if uh, finally um, you're going to be, um, the, your work is going to be seen. People are going to be recognizing that you or the person, okay? Um, you're going to be getting some sort of an acknowledgement um, for, you know, uh, showing up for yourself. So uh, when we look at Scorpion Man, it, 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 you know, this, the spicy Cancer Scorpion Man is really um, disorientated. You see the energy of the snake, uh, how really, and they're going to be blocking this man. Okay, so you're going to be successful 
uh, in the week of the 15th until the um, 21st, I see you're going to be successful. So the week of the 15th until the 21st, success is going to be coming in for you ladies. Successfully overcoming a Leo and a Libra and turning your backs on these people um, because these two women or these Leo and a Libra have co-created a situation. So if you recognize that the energy of the, 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 the star, success, successful overcoming a whole lot of emotional um, uh, chaos that you were going through because of these people with your business or um, at the workplace. So then when we look at the 22nd until the 28th, uh, I see uncertainty for your boss or supervisor that is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. This person was creating a whole lot of issues in your world without you even knowing it. So you women that have a boss that is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person or someone who were working against you, working against your business, working against you. I see this is going to be finally coming to an end in October um, and because I see end of uh, uh, September, you're very emotional, but um, there is a whole lot of uncertainty for the Spicy Skin, so Scorpion Man is coming up as a Pisces Man because they're not recognizing what this man has done. And this man was um, as, as if this man was parading and rolling, um, you know, just rolling over you and think that um he could have gotten you to do whatever you, he, he wanted you to do and you were like uh, um you know wrong cookie that's not all this cookie rolls okay and um you really showed up for yourself against this person because you recognize that this pe person has manipulated a whole lot of situation in their favors and um you know could have taken your work and is making and it's, you know, taking your work and it's getting the praises for your work, that sort of a situation. And I see um, they're going to be removing this person. So it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. Um, however, this man had to at, uh, work against you or, you know, set, put you under um, uh, um, pressure to do something that was not above water or taking um, the accolades and the claim to the work that you have done i see that this is going to be really ending you were dealing with a, um, a, a gemini woman a very disturbed gemini man or woman in the a third week the week of the 29th until the faithful very disturbed but they're blocking this gemini woman now they're 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 definitely blocking this woman uncertainty for this gemini woman and um, because they recognize what a Gemini woman at the work has done. And, you know, Capricorns, if you have a Gemini bo boss and uh, you and this Gemini boss is going at it, I see, you know, Capricorn get ready to rock and roll. So if this Gemini was your boss, this Gemini is going to be really, you know, they're, you know, really, you're not going to win this situation, I think. It is going to be better for you um, uh, Capricorns that have a Gemini boss to just bring peace, okay? So if they're your boss, bring peace. So this is um, a really serious, uh, serious situation um, where um, this Gemini person is... Uh, some of you women are going to be taking down this Gemini person and there is... You know, they're going to be like blocking this Gemini person. They're going to be the, the Gemini person really have to change their career after this situation because this Gemini person was really, really disturbed. Okay. Um, that uh, coffee to the situation because they're at the end in the week or sometime this Gemini person have to return 
or pay you a lot of money that they took on the false pretense. So let's say if you have a Gemini boss, walk away from it, bring peace to the situation. But if you, there was a Gemini woman who steal your idea, use your information in order to acquire, they're going to be um, really sitting down and they're going to be putting um, like something like fraud behind her name. Um, if she doesn't do jail time, they're going to be putting some sort of a fraud behind her name because of what she has done. Because it's like something to do with tax or, or the authority and this um, 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 woman um, had a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of problems. And use someone else's information in order to acquire a whole lot of money, a whole lot of problems. And they're going to be now... Um, put in fraud behind this Gemini woman or if she work in some sort of a government institution organization and use someone else's information to acquire wealth they're going to put fraud if she works in a bank financial institution they're going to put fraud behind her name so if she doesn't do jail time they're going to be putting fraud behind her name so there is some certainty for this woman going forward because of uh, what they have done um to create some sort of a problem for your business or it could be um as someone who uh was not good at whatever they did and they're going to be now recognizing so peace is going to be coming in and i see that you capricorns have gone through a whole lot of emotional situation but peace is going to be coming in in the last week the week of the six until the 12 um a lot of you are going to be regaining a lot of money and as scorpion I have to pay um a lot of uh, you um back a whole lot of money or um uh yeah because this is a situation where they recognize that a scorpion man forfeit and took a whole lot of money okay so it could be um, a mortgage broker, it could be a broker, a broker in any sense, a trader, you know, who were trading, a broker for your company, a trader who were trading, they're going to be recognizing that this man uh, took you down for a whole lot of money and they're going to be um, uncertainty for this man because they're going to be recognizing that this man created or tried to fraud dare you out of a lot of money. So, um, you know, this is going to be very, very um, surprising. Um, either they fraud your, your company or your business or you were in business with these people or it was a broker. It's coming up as a broker. It's coming up as um, a broker, someone who is a trader, a broker. And they're going to be recognizing that this man um, tried to fraud your, you a whole lot of money. A Scorpion ex-boss is going to be charge for accessing um some sort of a data and this this however the scorpion ex boss is um if you had some sort of a legal issue with this person this person have to pay you a whole lot of money and this is going to be coming in um within the six of the twelve okay because they recognize that the scorpion person forfeited a situation and uh, um as uh, either um right like this man fired you but didn't even know he fired you but was not didn't have the expertise and knowledge to fire you because it was like something that you say yeah but you know that it's like you had a scorpion boss and you show him you showed him how for the stupidity that he was so it was a situation where he's asking um for a loan and uh, said, yeah, I don't see my loan on my P&L, okay? Profit and loss. Your loan cannot be on your profit and loss, okay? So the man uh, was upset. Yeah, I can't find my loan on my profit and loss. I'm not going to do the rest of it. That you're looking at this man as if, well, and you're saying you can't look for a loan on a profit and loss. A loan is always on the balance, and this man, and you, and I, I think it's the most embarrassing thing for, um, and you're like, the stupidity of this. And then you're going to say that you can't work with me and you don't even know where your loan is. That your loan is not on a profit and loss. The loan is on the balance. Oh my God. And I think for the embarrassment, he could never face you. 
he said oh we can't work together and then you said to um and you said to his wife yeah but i can't teach someone something that they don't know because if someone is going to be asking you for yeah where's my loan and you know you sit in a meeting and you're saying what are you looking at the loan is there yeah the loan is not on my p l that is profit and loss okay no loan is on the profit and loss ladies and gentlemen and so he you know say oh i can't work with you and yeah it was two days before your tinder so they're not going to be recognizing that this one formulated a situation in order and has um released you because he lied and you found out that yeah uh, you can't work with me because you don't even know what you're doing. You don't know what is the difference between a profit and loss. So admit the fact to yourself that you have no idea about business because you can't be looking them for a loan on a profit and loss. So you dismiss someone and saying that, oh, I can't work. So when the, the, the wife or the woman comes up, you said, yeah, um, <laughs> he can't work with me. Yeah, you can't teach someone something that they don't understand. <laughs> So you Capricorns are going to be like people, um, <laughs> you know, look for it. And then people are now going to be recognizing that this man and the managers had lied because the man, um, and it was like two days before you're, you'd have been uh, two days before the 19 days. So, um, so they tried to like prove you. Uh, wrong and they recognize shit she's very good but when they couldn't find anything else this man is going to be asking for his loan on his profit and loss oh my god this is just the stupidity and they're going to be recognizing that this man had lied and they are going to be ordering this man to pay you a whole lot of money for false full um false full um like uh yeah her, um, recharge uh forceful release because he uh give another um thing why he was really saying that he can't work with you but the problem is that you recognize that the man um it was a situation where you were in a meeting he asked you uh he said that he can't find his loan you said what are you looking at and he was looking at his profit and loss and you're saying the loan is there and he goes, yeah, but I don't see my loan on my profit and loss. So he lied. Uh, he lied and uh, um, formulate and lied. Because when they asked him, why did you release this person? He lied and they did. They couldn't find you to ask you the truth. And now they're going to be finding out his, his stupidity. And they had this, uh, um, they were running some sort of a, uh, you know, fraud thing behind the scenes and they try to ruin your reputation and you're like, you can't ruin my reputation because you know jack shit, you know? So let it go, Capricorns. You know, these people are uh, stupidity and there's a saying that you don't have an argument with an idiot because you will never win because, you know, it's just like you can't, you, you can't have an argument with an idiot. And a lot of people um, kind of, have an hate to, towards other people because they recognize that other people are very smart. And uh, when they can't find that you have any um, imperfections, because Capricorns are always perfect when it comes on to their work. One thing with Capricorn people, anything that they do, they always uh, have good knowledge about it. So they're going to be um, ordering them to pay you for wrongfully dismissal because um, he lied. So that is good. I gotta go. Namaste.